The UK has the oldest and least energy efficient housing stock in Europe. Of our 27 million homes, nearly 38% were built before 1946, and over 80% use gas for central heating. By 2025, gas boilers will be banned for all new builds, but this will only represent 1% of our total housing stock. To reach the government's goal to be net zero carbon by 2050 means we have to end our reliance on fossil fuels like oil and gas and change the way we heat our existing homes. We need to retrofit Britain. Now we've also seen our energy bills skyrocket and the set to rise even higher. So investing in energy efficient home heating has never been more important. Today, I've come to this family home in Kent to see how they've switched to an EcoDan sustainable heat pump solution. Simon and his wife, Sarah, moved here in March 2021. Good morning, Simon, how are you doing? Hi, George, nice to meet you. And you, come on in. Beautiful house. Simon, fantastic house. Thanks for having me today. Tell me a little bit about the property. Well, obviously it's a converted farm building. It's a 16th century oak frame barn. And it was converted in 2019 and been here a year. And what was the heating system when you bought the building? The developer put in underfloor heating, which was um, an excellent choice. However, they put a gas LPG boiler in, which was slightly disheartening. So that was the prompt for us to move over to an air source heat pump. So you made the transition from LPG to an air source heat pump. Why did you decide to do that? I guess the LPG was just sort of a staging point. We'd had oil for 20 years in the previous property and you know, being exposed to the volatility of buying fossil fuels, we thought we'd like to move over to the heat pump technology at that point. So you've got an air source heat pump. I've also noticed you've got solar panels on your garage roof. So you've made a big step in terms of heating and electricity and becoming green. Do you store any of that energy? Yes, so the solar we can obviously use during daytime. However, a lot of it would have to be exported. So we made the decision to put six kilowatt of batteries in place. So that provides us with our electricity in the evening. And then any excess left over can run the air source heat pump. I mean, the underfloor heating is a, is a, is a slow, low temperature system. So in fact, on a, on a sunny afternoon in the winter, you'd put the heating on in that, in, in that peak time, and that would bring the floors up to temperature. So you're trying to sort of um, think ahead. And how does this system compare to when you were paying for LPG? That was in before. I think we worked out that the electricity to run the air source heat pump would be equivalent to the LPG. Okay, so roughly about the same when LPG was but at a lower months, price. 12 months on, I think LPG has gone up four to five fold. So therefore we have to be significantly below those costs now. Yeah, you'd be way less than that. And with the EcoDan, what's it like living with it? Because, you know, going from an oil system to an LPG system to go to a renewable energy system. It's completely different, isn't it? Like, how do you feel about that? I think mainly you don't really know it's there. It's very quiet. So, you know, you don't really hear it firing up in the morning like you would a boiler. And I guess the closest analogy is a bike electric car. There are so few moving parts. It's got a fan and a compressor, but that's it. So the clean technology side of it is, I suppose that, it makes you think why on earth we were doing it the way we were before, because we were just burning stuff and sometimes having quite noisy systems. It sounds to me like what you're saying, it's the complete opposite with this system. Yes, I mean, when they installed it and they were demonstrating its use, we, we kind of weren't sure it was actually on because the fan was rotating so slowly and you know, we were wondering when it was going to come up to speed like, a, sort of like an aeroplane, <laughs> but it never did. So often it sits there just sort of purring away. What do friends and family think when they come round? Because they, they, they must see, you know, you've got your solar panels on the roof and they see the unit for the air source heat pump. What, what sort of questions do they ask you? Mostly it's asking, who did you use? How much did it cost? And they're looking to move forward, you know, in their lives as well. So mostly it's been sort of quite affirmative. That's fantastic. And have you converted people to becoming green since you've done it? Well, I think I've got a few friends who are ahead of me, so um, I feel like I'm just, I feel <laughs> really? like I'm just chasing them, yes. <laughs> well, that's a good sign, isn't it? When you've got mates who are ahead of you, being as green as possible, it must rub off. Yeah, well, hopefully that will um, influence you. 
the local community as well, people to move on. Really good. Well, brilliant home and a fantastic green system. I love the fact that there's so many parts to it that are working holistically from your solar panels to the air source heat pump to the battery storage, actually storing that power and then using it at different times. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit of thought has to go into it, but it's, um, it's worthwhile. Jason Woods from Dore Woodman Renewable Heating is here to tell me more about the installation. Jason, nice to meet you. Hi, George. How, how are you, you doing? You all right? Good, thanks. Thanks for coming today. So, Jason, how do you work out how this EcoDan unit can provide all the heating and hot water that Simon's family need? Well, initially, we could look at an EPC, an energy performance certificate. That gives us a lot of information, cavity wall insulation, floor insulation, loft insulation, etc. So once we've established the fabric of the building, then we'll come to the property and we'll do a room by room heat loss calculation. So we'll measure floor to ceiling, wall to wall, windows, and if there are radiators, we'll measure radiators as well. That enables us then to really ascertain exactly the size of the heat pump that we need to provide 100% of the heat and hot water for this home. And for any MCS accredited business, that should be done part and parcel and before every single install. And MCS's Micro Generation Certification Scheme. And why is that important? Well, it's important because it sets the standard. And, you know, as a business, we need to make sure that we safeguard ourselves as a business. But more importantly, we need to safeguard the homeowner. And without the MCS certification, you wouldn't be able to apply for any grants that are available from the government. So without MCS being in place, you can't apply for the government subsidies to help pay for this? No, you can't. Um, there's documentation that needs to be presented in order to apply for the voucher. Um, and you can get up to £5,000 towards the installation of a heat pump. Which is incredible. Yeah, it's through the bus scheme, which is a boiler upgrade scheme. And what about planning permission? This property is unique. It's a grade two listed building, so there was a planning application that needed to be put in place here. However, um, for most heat pump installations, it's all under permitted development, so no need to do any planning whatsoever beforehand. And Jason, you've installed many EcoDan systems. Why do you use EcoDan? The EcoDan system's been around for about 15 years. We've been installing them for four years, and we know the reliability of this unit, the technology that it provides, and also it's becoming a household name. Um, it's right up there as, as a market leader when it comes to heat pump technology for residential homes. And there's an app, isn't there, which provides a lot of support? There is. It's called the MailCloud app, and it should come as part of your package when you're installing the Mitsubishi Ikadans. And the app allows you as a homeowner to access reports of how much energy use there is. You can control heating, hot water. And for us as an installer, we can access it remotely. So if there's anything that needs tweaking or looking at, then we can do that without coming to site. And also for the guys at Mitsubishi, it gives them the opportunity to look at anything if there is a, you know, anything that really needs to be looked at, essentially. So you get access to it, the homeowner gets access to it, and Mitsubishi get access to it to provide all the support to make sure that the system is running as well as it should be. It, exactly, and, and it's really about making sure that the heat pump itself is running as ultra-efficiently as it most possibly can. Fantastic. Thanks very much, mate. No worries. Thanks, George. The countdown to end the use of fossil fuels for home heating has begun making all our existing homes more energy efficient by improving insulation, installing triple glazing and sustainable heating will help us combat the climate crisis. More and more homeowners like Simon and Sarah are making the switch to heat pumps. This proven technology will help the UK end our dependence on expensive fossil fuels. Heating your home shouldn't cost the earth and with EcoDan it doesn't have to. To find out more information about heating your home with EcoDan, visit their website at ecodan.co.uk.